Welcome back and happy New Year's Eve. Today I have Oliver back with me. Today we're having a McDonald's feast. Um, we have chicken nuggets. I got a 10 piece chicken nugget. I also have a quarter pounder with cheese. This was like two for five dollars, you guys, which was such a really good deal. I got a large fry, sweet and sour sauce. And of course I have a Diet Coke over there. And then also a little bit of mayonnaise um, for the fries and chicken nuggets. There's another YouTuber that I have seen called Fabio Madison. Um, that always uses mayonnaise on everything. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've had a little bit too many drinks tonight um, because it's New Year's Eve, right? So let's go ahead and squirt a little mayonnaise. And I'm really excited to try this. Oh, okay. Let's have a chicken nugget first. Mmm. Sweet and sour sauce. I worked all day, you guys. And then I came home. And I immediately started having some drinks. Cause I was like, why not be festive? Also, I don't know what's going on with YouTube, you guys, because I try to go live again, but it just like sits there circling and waiting for it to like load. I think YouTube doesn't want me to be successful in lives. I was just watching videos since I couldn't get on catching up on all my lovely people that I always watch mmm And then just kind of reflecting on 2019. Are you guys excited for the new year? I am. Mm. Let's try the burger. Okay, two for five dollars is a really good deal, you guys. Oh, it even looks good from here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's try it. Mm. So I have to confess, you guys, this food was a little cold when I got it home, so I did have to put it in the oven for a few minutes. So it's just as good, 
but the burger is a little bit crispier than what it would be if you got it from McDonald's. So if you hear the crunch, that's why. Mm. I love a quarter pounder with cheese. I remember when I was a little kid, remember we all used to start out with like Happy Meals? Well, I always used to ask my mom for like a value meal because that was like the big kid's meal because this was even before like Mighty Kids Meals existed. Mm. Mm. Well, I remember the first value meal that I ever had was a quarter pounder with cheese. And I ate the whole thing by myself. And I was probably like nine and I felt like such a big kid I was like I don't have to eat happy meals anymore hmm. How does everyone else not hiccup when they drink soda on their video? I watch so many different YouTubers and they drink pop. I'm like, you don't hiccup. I hiccup. <laughs> This is the last video of 2019, you guys. And then we start a completely new decade. Mm. This decade, what do you want to have happen? 10 years is a long time. Also, what do you think about, like, what were the big things from this decade? Because, you know, every decade is an era. era. <laughs> Don't judge me. I've had a few drinks. Like, you think about the 60s. The 70s, the 80s, the 90s, even the 2000s. So, what do you call this? The 2010s? The 20 teens? And if so, what really defined the error to you? Era. I feel like I can't talk. I definitely think YouTube defined the era. I think it had such a huge part on culture and society. Mm. I feel like Apple and iPhone was huge. Oh my gosh, and this was definitely the age of highlighter.
But I heard that that trend is out. Put down below in the comments what you think defined the 2000 teens. Twenty teens. I definitely have to work tomorrow, but I'm off on Thursday. My other video I said I don't do New Year's resolutions. But one thing I really want to try for this year is I really want to try to read more. Excuse me. The kinds of books that really interest me are like biographies. Because I really like to know, like, how people's life or how people's life took place, what happened, or even autobiographies. But I know that very, very successful people read. So I think that's something that I want to start doing more. After this, you guys. I think I'm gonna take a sleeping pill. And Oliver and I will be in bed by 10 p.m. Forget it. I'm not a big marketing person. <laughs> and then I've got to get up early in the morning and head to work. It's funny because during all the major holidays where people celebrate, like the 4th of July or New Year's Eve when there's like cheering and fireworks. I'm always in bed super early. And then I'm awoken by the sound of like fireworks or cheering. And I'm like, oh, it must be midnight. Can you hear my neighbors? Mm. 
I am really grateful though for my YouTube growth in 2019. I think being able to meet so many great new friends. I think doubling my subscriber base is a huge feat. I know for most it's very slow moving until you get to a thousand subscribers and then it just seems to like snowball. So I understand that it's like not a marathon or what is this saying? It's not a race, it's a marathon. But I think, like, also the other saying is quality versus quantity. Everyone on this channel that subscribed is literally good people. And they go through so many other channels where there's hate in the comments, thumbs down. Subscribers are arguing with each other. And I can literally say 99.9% .9 of you are all very supportive. Everyday people who have good intentions, good hearts. You get up, you go to work, you love your family. And that's what I love about this channel. And if at the end of 2020, if we're only at 600 subscribers at the end of the year, we still did what we needed to do, right? But I really do love all of you so much. Because being in a city alone, like in Houston, and I said it before, I'm not lonely. I chose to come here for work. It was my choice. But the interaction that I have with all of you guys really minimizes that. And there's so many of you all across the country, even across the globe, that I can call a friend. Mm. I don't know why I've been so hungry lately. But I never finish my meals, you guys. And look. We finished another meal. I feel like this YouTube is like a training yourself to be like an event eater. And for races. But... I also think it's because I haven't been eating during the day and I'm saving all my hunger for the night when I hang out with you guys. All right, you guys, it is 1030 on the dot. I hope that every one of you has an amazing new year, however you bring it in. Friends, family, alone, drinking by yourself. Maybe I'm how you're bringing it in, but I'm going to post this video up right after. So like in the next five minutes um please be safe please make sure that you um, enjoy yourself 2020 is a new decade so be a better you 
the things that you were last year that you don't want to be anymore. It's an opportunity to be a better you. Oliver has been with me now for what? Three months, two months. And so Oliver doesn't really have any goals other than to just sit on my couch and watch TV all day while I work. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. I love you all so much. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel. Oliver loves you as well. Um, I'll see you in my next video. And put in this, the subscriptions. Look. I've had a few too many Jack and Cokes. Actually, Jack and Water. I don't even know at this point. So the fact that we got through this video is a miracle, but it's all in fun and festivities. And I'm going to go watch a movie now. But anyways, like I said, anything that you do to bring in the new year, make sure you do it. Have fun. Be safe. Um, I will see you in my next video. But what I was going to say, put down in the comments below if there's anything that you want to see me eat since I'm like, Getting a little bit better on what I'm eating and I'm actually able to finish some food now and I know what my proportions are that I'll be able to finish and now I'm rambling so I feel goofy but I know you guys won't judge me I love you so much I'm leaving and I'll talk to you in my next video bye